What's up guys, it's Hasman12 and in today's Summer League episode we have a new signing when it comes to double nutmegs in the park. He takes no prisoners. You might recognise him. So yeah, welcome back to the Sunday League series. I had my own injury, games got cancelled over Christmas. It's been a while, but let's not waste any more time. Hopefully if you've been watching the series, you'll be familiar with most of this lineup. I mean, there are a few new faces, so let's get through it. Obviously, Joff, he's a standard goalkeeper, Lee and Jack. So Jack, is not, Jack, my brother, is now starting in centre-back alongside Lee, with Charlie and Ollie as two full-backs, and then I'm in the holding CDM role. Yes, <laughs> my dream position. And then I got Nick and Sam in front of me with Henry on the wing. Henry on the wing, yeah, you heard that right. <laughs> and then Dave up front with Henry's brother, Ed. So we've got two brothers now. The chemistry in this team now is just off the charts. And I just wanted to make a point, playing with my brother is something I've never actually done on the same team. We've always been on different teams, whether it's football training or it's a mini match in the park, just anything, we've never been on the same team. It's just really nice that we finally are. So hopefully we can show a bit of the brotherly connection on the pitch today. So they kick off and we had the first attack of the game by getting Ed through and he does well to win a corner. And this began a bit of a trend in the game. <laughs> Unfortunately this corner didn't come to anything, but <laughs> just wait and see. <laughs> we'll talk about this. Jack. Yeah. Uh, just come here a second. I just want your thoughts on this header. This is the, this is the second corner, right? I just want your thoughts. Should we play it again? Hang on, I want your post-match thoughts. Absolutely awful. Oh. And I know it, you can tell by my reaction. Again? Yeah. <laughs> it's not even hard. Look, they're all, they're, we're all appealing for a corner because we assume you couldn't have missed by that much. Anyway. So here's the first involvement I do in the game. As usual, it is putting them under pressure, not winning the ball, but we'll move on. I then chase after it. And it's weird because when you actually try and skill a player on the pitch, you feel like you're moving and dropping your shoulder more than you are. Like what I did here was completely useless. Like how predictable was that? You're not taking the ball off me, so I slide in and then they have a throw in. So we've made ground, that's the positive. <laughs> so this is good because if I don't do anything in the game, I now have Jack that I can now highlight as well. So here is Jack's first highlight. He wins the ball well, definitely not a foul. Definitely, definitely, definitely not a foul. <laughs> And here, Sam takes a brutal one to the face. Cue Alex Ferguson. Alex. It could have been killed. How's he survived that then? Unfortunately, this run, Ed didn't get the pass away completely, but something about Ed, his runs, they're actually unstoppable. <laughs> when Ed runs like this, I, for some reason, no one tackles him. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's good. I'm glad I'm not playing against him, let's just say that. Have it, Jack, <laughs> have it. Any excuse to use the meme. Habits. Now, I talked about the Busenal connection, and when I actually try and remember the game, we didn't actually use it that much to pass to one another, but I feel like I knew where Jack was most of the time. This is the first use of the telepathic Busenal connection. I say telepathic, but Jack actually shouted at me to pass the ball to him. Harry, Harry, come here, come here, come here. But anyway, it was actually quite useful because usually in that situation, I would definitely lose the ball there. Anyway, that started the attack, but unfortunately didn't come to anything. So this is why we put Henry out on the wing to win balls high up the pitch. As I said, and I think maybe episode two, Henry is actually pretty good at tackling. There you go, Henry, you can have that one. And he sets off the attack with Sam. Fortunately, it's blocked, but yeah, we're putting them under pressure. If you have been watching the Sunday League series, you would know that I go on about how I really, I really don't think I'm comfortable in the centre midfield actually passing it. But I genuinely feel like this match, I took that a step up, like I improved that. I'm not saying I'm brilliant at it, but I definitely felt I was better than the previous weeks. Maybe it's because of Jack being in the team, always an option to pass to. I don't know, but just felt more comfortable. So yeah, just more of exactly what I just said. Sam and I linking quite nicely actually and starting the attack. Fortunately, it doesn't come to anything, but 
just trying to emphasize my point that I feel like I'm just improving a little bit. Like I have been practicing a bit, but you can't really practice this sort of thing. It's a lot harder than it looks. Like you watching from the sideline going, oh yeah, he could have passed it there or there, or he should have turned there. It's a lot harder on the pitch and it takes time to learn, but I feel like I'm improving just a little bit. Just give me a bit. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> So this is just exactly what I said before. Ed goes on one of his powerful, unstoppable runs, does pretty well, sets it off to Sam, and what? <laughs> that's just one of the many saves the keeper made in this game. We will get onto this, trust me, but yeah, that would have been a nice assist for Ed, actually. And yeah, you guessed it, another corner. Is Jack gonna score this time? Is it written in the stars? No. That was quite bad. <laughs> yeah, this makes me go on about how I've improved composure-wise. Look a bit silly. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I went for the immediate, as soon as you get it back from the corner, spread it wide back to the guy who took the corner, but it just <laughs> went horribly wrong. Yeah, that was quite bad. But then they go up and actually get a corner and we defend it reasonably well, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, we actually did pretty well. Nice clearance by Jack in the end. Yeah, defense is looking good. <laughs> so we concede and we think, right, we're going to go route one, straight ball up to Ed, good tactic, and we actually want a corner, I'm not going to show you because it's another corner that just didn't come to anything. I think we had about 5,000 corners in this game, I mean, obviously we didn't, maybe 4,099. So they're number 18 on the ball now, he was quite good, you'll see later on. Yeah, let's leave it at that. So Jack taking inspiration from David Luiz at the weekend, virtuing four, playing the ball through to Henry. Henry almost getting assist with Dave, but it's another save. The story of the game. And it's another corner that doesn't come to anything. So here's some good pressure by Dave, leads to Nick doing actually quite well to hold them off. I then go in between a few players. Fortunately, I just kick it straight to them. I just, I made a mistake of just not looking up. I assumed the striker would be there. But then we actually get through and Dave so nearly scores. That is what you would call a whisker wide of the post. But it actually came off their defender, so we have a corner. I know what you're thinking. Oh, yeah. yeah! Yes, we actually score from a corner. It's really nice play by Nick to get it in and then Sam to flick it on. And a nice header by Ed to finish it off. So that is 1-1 back in the game. Nick does really well here to get past about three of them through the middle. Nice turn. Sets off Dave, gets a shot, it's blocked. Another corner. It goes straight through the middle of everyone and then Dave hits a volley that was so, so close. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. Here's a highlight of mine again. Just a little thing that I like to add in. So they're through down the line, I've sort of blocked them off. Go around a couple, give it to Nick, and then unfortunately they get a shot off, but it doesn't come to much. Hope you enjoy my highlights. <laughs> Oh, there, here it is. This is the one I wanted your opinion on. <laughs> oh, he's rusty. Although, I was sprinting back and he's not done me any favours. <laughs> he didn't really need to fall over. So my left foot is very, very consistent in videos. So we range from a one to a, to a let's say, four-star weak foot. So today, luckily, we were we were at probably the three mark. We, we went for that one today. So I managed to intercept the ball, a little bit of an anticipation, and then I thread it through with the left foot, straight to Sam, nice look onto Ed, and we win another corner. And Sam runs to the near post, flicks it on, and it's just clear. Oh, that was so close. So I've lost count of how many corners we've had in this game, but we finally get one, and Jack, he virtues forward. Is this gonna be it? Is Jack gonna get a goal on his home debut? So it's fizzed in onto Jack's head and you think, surely. I was actually so gutted. I really wanted him to score. <laughs> Even though we're watching it and we know he saved it, we still sort of think it's gonna go out. <laughs> 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 Oh, what a pass. You hear that call from me though? Ed was there. Originally. I've given you the call. Every single attack came from that number 18. And then Duffy. Oh, I went and made it on. I've got the ball. It's zoomed in a bit. Oh, yes. Good there we go. <laughs> That's what we want. I mean, note that down. For two minutes later. Oh, dear. Maybe don't have it. Oh, no. 
It's literally the most annoying thing. I want to run that back. It's literally a mirror image of two minutes ago. So we'll rewatch this slide challenge just to make me feel a little bit better. That's what I should have done. I should have slid in! Why didn't I slide in? It's just a game of regrets, isn't it? Oh, what a challenge. <laughs> Can I have your post-match thoughts on this goal? Oh, well, I know what's happening already. We've won that corner for sure. Yeah. You know for sure. Rory's like, nah, we haven't won it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Sam's lost his man at the back post here. I've tried to recover it. <laughs> Slide tackle is awful. It's in slow motion even though we're watching normal speed. <laughs> you stay on the floor for ages, but if I extend the clip. Yeah, I know I do. I'm <laughs> so annoyed with myself. <laughs> There's a Pogba walk. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Brilliant highlight. <laughs> if in doubt. <laughs> He's found his man. He's got eyes in the back of his head. What about <laughs> He said, how's the sky up there, Jack? He's taking in the view of the sky. Oh, yeah, the clouds are okay. It's good pace, though. <coughs> Knackered and 3 1 down. Still got the desire to get back. That is ridiculous. Oh. Check this out. And then our keeper pulled out a pretty good save to the nine number eight goal. And then he did this. And that just spreads confidence throughout our back line. And then from a free kick, James finds himself free on the edge of the box and he just, just can't apply the finish. And this clip just shows how confident the other defence were. No. And I think the last highlight in this game that I found is of Jack doing a nice challenge. Yeah, I don't know. There you go, Jack. You're welcome. <laughs> and then good play by Rory and Ricker on the wing. It spreads it straight into James. He tries to finish a couple of times. Maybe even tries a back heel. That doesn't work. It's just, it's just not happening. Yeah! That day, so he could film it. But yeah, anyway, did hope you enjoy. I'll leave Jack to do the outro. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. I'll see you later. Oh. Unbelievable. We go again next weekend, we pick ourselves up and we go again. <laughs>